Welcome to Iron Fist. We've got a lot to jump in today, a lot to deep dive in. To tech and eight, some interesting stuff. So, this is your boy, Future Boy. Do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to Future for more content. So, yes, people, we got a lot to break down in today's video and a lot to go into that all happened last night on their live stream. So, as you can see here, practice mode in tech and eight will continue to include punishment training just like token 7 now this is something really good for all everyone who wants to utilize how can you punish a player or an opponent when it gets certain things that they do or mess up on and it seems they handle that very well by giving you that exact training and it's a good thing that that is left in there from Tekken 7 because it really came in handy and it was something that was really good to be utilized so you can learn everything the ins and outs of each character and their flaws which is a very very good trait and then we also have this so with this there are three types of battle modes playable in the lounge group quick and ranked each has battle and spectator options so the reason why this comes in really good handy is because everyone likes to see someone else fight and if you know there's going to be a move that they're going to do something that they spam or they keep doing but at least you can know what you can watch and i'm glad that all of the modes have it and it's not just something like king of the hill or um battle royale mode or something at least every match that you're going into you can see some of them cheating players because there are quite a lot of them and then we also have tekken ball now i don't know if anybody really even cares of tekken ball of all the modes for them to bring back they could have brought back tekken force but instead they bring tekken ball back and you can make your kites look like tekken 3 any one of you guys are fans out there of Tekken Ball or anything and you like Tekken Ball, me on the other hand, I really do not. I'm not fussed about Tekken Ball. It doesn't really feel like something really big or great to me. It's fantastic for those who like it, you know? It's one of the modes. Now, you can have up to 100 people in the lobby, uh, in the same lobby, so in the fight lounge. They looked at hundreds of arcades throughout the world from the 80s and 90s to influence the design. Evo elements are also mixed in. So they will make it have a very 80s and 90s look to it, which is always really good. Who doesn't love the 80s and 90s vibes? So I'm glad that they're utilizing that as some of the things that you can do in the look-wise of it. So in the lounge, you'll have Battle Arena, Custom Shop, Beach Arena, and Tekken Dojo. Really, that should say Tekken 4 and then you have the beach arena if you want that game mode in there so much i still don't understand why that mode's back but at least you have four places to go to then super ghost now this is the game changer for all fighting games because it's an ai ghost data including yourself and developers so it will include not just the developers how they play the game and how they are to fight against you so you're really testing your skills but you it will always be watching you i know it sounds really really bizarre doesn't it but you will be able to fight against yourself too and with this it has q learning with real player like movement that continues to learn players gameplay characteristics and habits casually so no matter how you fight against the ai or what not or moves you do when you fight against ghosts it will know you because it is you oh there's some real scary stuff with that one you gotta see some of them top players try and beat that when they're beating themselves it's gonna be practically impossible Jeez, it will know your ins and outs then we have arcade quest so along with the previous of the story and um, the progression of the story i mean from the player's point of view the player can learn the basics of the battle and practice techniques so you'll be able to do certain quest things about that too and there are character episodes for all 32 characters in addition to the main story you unlock them as you progress with the game now it doesn't say if this is genuinely arcade mode now or if this is something else different i know it says arcade quest but it could be something the same thing and each character has their own like little episodes similar to Tekken 7 but I hope you utilize better where the cutscenes and that are different and it's not just the cutscenes from the story mode that would make a lot more sense and be totally more fun and the story is called The Dark Awakenings yes and the son of Jin Kazama and um, the son Jin Kazama will fight against his fated bloodline as his father Kazuya Mishima so right there the story is called The Dark Awakens and you will be taking place not just as Jin but as other characters as you can see Lars here watching from his um, skyship and it says the story actually takes place six months after Tekken 7 according to the developers so this is something really cool so Tekken 7 or Tekken in general is the one game that has never had a reboot never had some story change or anything the storylines have been the same since day one this is the longest running story driven fighting game in history and they're still going i'm gonna be 67 or 85 and they're still gonna be fighting kazuya is still gonna be fighting jin and hayachi is still going to somehow be alive and be immortal or whatever hayachi is 
this is gonna go on for years on top of years though i'm not complaining because you know if you don't broke don't fix it so i'm liking what they're doing with tekken 8 seems like they're really putting a whole load of stuff into this game really making it really big and really grand and i can't wait for this game to come out in um january as well so obviously people let me know what did you think of all of this is there a lot of stuff that you really like in tekken 8 do you wish tekken force was also in there because i certainly do and can you not wait to play as that and i know they revealed panda the other day but really who asked for panda they could have chose alex the punch the boxing dinosaur but do like subscribe this is your boy future boy as always stay frosty peeps peace